So, of course, we got our snow and the frost gray fells, right? Lava going on in Illyrium, okay? And are we going to see anything other than the Riverlands? Who knows, huh? A lot of speculation on when the Alpha 2 is coming out. We know the time frame, but we don't know the exact date. So, I mean, that's it's enough of this much. crap. Yeah. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Well, since you're here, did you know that at the end of this month, Ashes of Creation will be showing us the long-awaited Cyclops raid boss for Alpha 2? Not only that, but this could be the first time we see raid boss mechanics and multiple class archetypes coming together to take down this large of a threat since Alpha 1. And I actually have some Richie SH exclusive gameplay of that Cyclops fight, thanks to my friends at Intrepid that you are going to see right now. I don't see any more. That was a bit of a mess. Hopefully Intrepid has time to clean that up before we hit the end of May. But with that footage you saw, well, it's exactly what we don't want to see from Intrepid this time around. With only three people taking down what is meant to be a raid boss, you know, 40 men and women coming together, holding their swords, and fighting off these guys, stabbing them in places, and all that good stuff. We really don't want to see Steven being the main tank either and just aggroing everything around or even as a mage aggroing everything around. So hopefully this Cyclops is in an area where we can actually just focus on the Cyclops and not all the mobs surrounding it. We have seen a few live streams where it was just complete and utter chaos and I'm hoping that this is not one of them. Which I mean Intrepid has been seeming to take the feedback very well from the previous live streams and the mage showcase last month that we got was incredible. It was the best archetype reveal they've done so far so I have high hopes for this Cyclops reveal as well. With our first showing of that boss on what I expect late will be on May 26th, I want to see this guy as what it is actually meant to be. Raid bosses are meant to be taken down in large groups like I said, so hopefully Steven will recruit some of those PI testers to help him with this fight to minimize the use of cheat with invincibility, health buffs, and instant respawns. If they do that, that won't give us a very good look at the fight at all, and I really want to see how challenging these guys are meant to be. Obviously, there's going to be that whole scaling thing that Intrepid does later, but no cheat. I I don't want to see cheats at all even if it's half of a raid if we saw 20 people instead of 40 i would be very okay with that i would even almost be kind of okay with an eight man party to start and they scale it up later but i want to see these classes working together we have been leading up to this point with the tank the cleric the mage the ranger the fighter and i want to see these guys coming together to take down a boss but before we get to that part, I would love to hear the dev who designed this boss fight on the stream, giving us a rundown of the abilities of the Cyclops, his design preferences, why he went certain ways on this, and what makes this guy tick overall. As I've said, we haven't seen a raid boss since Alpha 1, and well, they weren't exactly engaging encounters at this point, so Intrepid really needs to dig deep into that creativity here to make these Cyclops bosses a great experience, even if we're wiping 20 times before they figure it out. Back when this guy was first teased, Steven talked about how this fight will take place in the Riverlands, so we're not getting out of there quite yet, but it will also take the players on a journey as this fight will scale multiple elevations, which makes sense, this guy is huge, and I want to be able to jump on that log he's holding and stab him in the back of the head and not just have him be standing there swinging that log around while we just constantly cast those lightning balls at his ankles we do know that there is more than one cyclops in the riverlands as well we don't know which one we're gonna see or if we will see more than one but maggie said this when she was showing us the different weapons for the cyclops such as the bows spears swords mace 
faces, wands, and I assume this giant tree as well. But if not, it'd be pretty cool to see him actually rip a tree out of the ground to attack a player in one of the phases of this fight. Otherwise, we really have no idea what Intrepid plans to share in regards to this boss. We could be holding these expectations way too high like we did for Carfin, where we all thought we were going to get a dungeon run, but it turns out we got a story arc overview instead, which was still pretty cool, but I want to raid boss fight. You hear it, Steven? Fight that Cyclops with 40 people. But there is still the chance that maybe this is not a raid boss fight and it's more of a design talk through showing us a bit of the raid boss, but also just more walking through the mechanics and the design process behind bosses, which would still be pretty cool if we get to learn more of the inside on how Intrepid plans to take these guys to the next level. But regardless, Intrepid really seems to be having their shit together lately, so I hope this continues that trend. If you made it this far into the video, well, hit that subscribe button because I told you to, and you can suffer with me as we wait for Alpha 2 because we still got a long ways to go. Otherwise, comment down below what you are hoping to get from the Raid Boss Showcase, and if you are new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump on the forums, buy some cosmetics, but not this pack, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.